It's a real blessing to be with you on this Tuesday. And today I'd like to go to the very end of the book of Ephesians, this great exposition by the Spirit of God through the Apostle Paul on the doctrine of the church and the practical uh, application of truth to the function of a church and of our own individual lives. And it's just rich with much, much meaning. But it's interesting, at the very end, like many of the other epistles, it has a final uh, greeting that seems common, but I think sometimes we miss, miss rich truth that God would have us to get a hold of. As he is saying, I want to know how you're doing, and I've sent Tychicus uh, so I can know of your affairs. And then he says, peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with them, all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Now, he's giving what his heart's desire. This is not just a common greeting. He's actually concluding this epistle with a, uh, a prayer of his heart that God would give peace to the brethren there in Ephesus and that they would have that selfless love that comes with faith when we believe the word of God and we step out and obey it. God will give us love that we don't have. He'll give us peace that we don't have. And what I think is such a wonderful thing is that the peace and love coming from faith is from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the triune God ready to cut through any circumstances that we are in and give us peace, give us love, and cause us to have the strength to believe his word and take the steps of faith that will activate the grace of God in our lives. Our lives do not need to be blown about uh, on the winds of circumstances. We can be fully uh, anchored in the reality of who our God is. And the triune God is ready, based upon all that Christ did, to give us peace when we shouldn't have no peace, to give us love when our reactions should be otherwise, uh, to cause us to believe him when we would naturally have trouble doing that. And God is ready to do it. So the Apostle Paul here at the end of this epistle really meant it. He wanted them to live with peace. And you know, godly Christians, no matter what they're going through and as they're growing in the Lord, they should always be marked by peace, by love, and by faith. And may God give us that as we look to him. That should be what we can claim as our inheritance. We can live with peace if we're fully depending upon our God.